Okay, today we're gonna replace the rear handle on the back barn door on a 2001 Chevy Suburban. I don't have my tripod today, so bear with me. This is my parents' vehicle. I came in last week and put this string on and rigged it up so it could be used. So I got that open. First thing you're gonna do is pop these molding panels out. So I'm just gonna grab and pop these out. Get the bottom out. Now, the top. So, see these? We slide in up there into those. Same down here. Slide in those. This piece is similar. So, actually, yeah, I forgot. This piece just pulls right up. So pull it up on it, and then it comes out. And you see those? See their L shapes? So they go in those holes and then slide down and lock in. Just gonna peel that back a little bit. So then I'm going to get a torque bit and take this uh, locking mechanism out of here. There's no nuts on the back of these. It's, it's attached to the metal, so you don't have to worry about them falling in. You just take those two bolts out. So that's out of there. I'm just going to slide this out of the way. That's your latching mechanism there. I did that so I could get to that nut back there. There's three nuts that hold that on. Two on the top, one on the bottom. Okay, those three nuts are off there. So now I'm gonna take this plastic piece that holds the cable out. That I'm just gonna get pliers. I'm gonna pinch this top and bottom with the pliers and just slide it back through there. And this is the, so that's out of there. This is the cable that moves your door latch with the handle so i'm going to get this i'm just going to spin it maybe you can see it through that hole so i'm going to spin it so that the cable lines up with the slot and pull that out there so that's disconnected so with that out of the way now pretty much everything's off there's still the the wires to the lock i'll get those after i push it through um, i've never done one of these before so i'm not exactly sure how it's in there so i'm just gonna uh, put the camera down and apply pressure on it till i get it started and work it out of there so that's out of there now all i did was i started at this edge and pried out a little bit and it slowly came loose it was stuck a little bit and then it kind of popped off of here eventually so here is the um the locking mechanism i'm gonna leave that there for now uh, you see this little piece of metal here that's a clip that holds it in so i'm gonna get a flathead screwdriver get under it work it open pull it back and hopefully get this lock out of here it looks a little corroded and rusted but i think it'll come out so i'm gonna go ahead and take that out so we can transfer it over to the new one that's out here's how that clip works i just took a flathead screwdriver pried it out and then i pulled the lock out um, a lot of these clips when you pry them out they have little notches that they stick in and stay open this one i had to i had to twist the screwdriver in there hold it out and pull out on the lock at the same time i did have to take this metal rod out of here so I have to put that back in when I put it on the new one. But I had to take that out of there so I could get the screwdriver in the right position. So there's the old one next to the new one. I'm gonna slide the locking cylinder in here. So that's back in. You actually don't have to hold this uh, metal clip out to slide the lock in. The lock, uh, it's kind of wedge shaped so it pushes it out and clips in there itself 
I put that back in, that's the lock. I'm gonna go ahead and take this cable while I have it out. Just slide it in there. And that goes back. Um, this little plastic part, I'll put in that clip after I get it in the door. You can see this rubber ring here. That's the seal that's gonna keep water and everything out of here um it's actually kind of a pain there's a little groove in it that this little lip in the plastic slides in so you got to keep it get it on there all the way around and then get it pushed back in without knocking it off i'm gonna see how that goes might take me a little while but i'll get it so getting that rubber seal to stay on there just was not working for me. So what I did was I snipped the bottom of it here so that, cause the problem was it was, it was trying to stretch and pulling itself off. So I snipped the bottom there. That way I didn't want to do the top cause water's going to come in from the top down the bottom. It shouldn't affect anything and hopefully gives me a little bit of play to where I can get it in there. All right, I got it in there. So I'm gonna take those three nuts and get this thing snugged up in there. These are uh, 10 millimeter. All right, that's in there. These three nuts are tightened up. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take this, the other end of the cable. That just, it just uh, slides through here, you just push it through. See, locks itself in there. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put this back in. Put those two uh, torque Torx bits in there. I believe this is a 40, size 40. So I'm gonna go ahead and put those in. All right, I got those back in with the locking mechanism. This is still somewhat sticky, so I'll just slide it back in there and make sure it goes where it needs to go. I did just learn something. I just took this whole thing back apart and messed with it because the power lock wasn't working on it. And then when I gave up and put it back together, it still wasn't working. And I learned that the door needs to be shut for the power door lock to work. And you can't just push these in by hand, so it must have something to do with these contacts here and some kind of electrical thing. But when I shut it, I use the power locks and it all works. So that's great. So now all you have to do is put the plastics back on the same way they came out. These have those L clips. So they just go right on and then slide down. Just push that down a little bit and then This one, the top one, again, I apologize it on my tripod. You see that spike that slides up in along with these two. They're gonna go, you wanna make sure they're in those slots, it's getting a little dark out so it's not showing that much, but there's a slot. So if you try to pound it in with your fist and it's not in that slot, it's gonna break the, it's gonna break the plastic off. So definitely wanna get it in the right spot. push it and you'll hear a click same on the bottom two three and that's all in there's the new handle works as it should like I said the power locks now work And so does the key lock. I already tried that out because I switched over the same one. So that's all good. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment, like, subscribe. Have a good day. And there's the part number for the new one.